South Australia's first fleece collection day was held in the last week of July 2011. Growers from across the state came together to contribute to bales of top quality fleece to be offered at auction later in the year. On arrival, each fleece was individually quality control checked. All contributing growers had, earlier in the year, attended a premium fleece workshop to develop their skills in skirting and preparation so that each fleece could be pre-prepared by the grower prior to its delivery. Three samples were taken from each fleece for grid testing. Such a high standard of preparation had been attained that very little was required in the way of additional skirting or removal of contaminants. Fleece testing was carried out by Kim from Australian Alpaca Fibre Testing. Each sample was prepared and scanned using an optical fibre diameter analyzer or OFDA and the average micron and standard deviation across the sample are recorded. And to the standard and recognised certification for alpaca fleece classing is established, fibre testing remains the best method to guarantee quality and consistency in each bale that is offered to buyers, leading, as a result, to higher prices at auction. All results are tallied using an Excel spreadsheet designed for the purpose. A manual record is also kept, both as a backup and for cross-checking to ensure that no data entry errors are made. The records kept are used to generate receipts that are issued to each participating grower so that when the bales are sold, profits can be distributed appropriately. Once the fleece has completed both the testing and the quality checking process, it is gathered up ready for weighing. A record is made of the weight of each fleece and finally it's added to the appropriate bale. For this, our first collection day, the region opted to concentrate on just white and light fawn fibre. Other colours will follow at a later date. Classing lines were defined by colour and by fibre diameter, ranging from ultra fine at less than 18 micron through to 26 to 28 micron in 2 micron increments. Finally, while this was an exercise primarily aimed at getting the maximum return for the product, it was also a unique opportunity to see firsthand the way in which our industry is growing, to play a significant part in that growth and to learn valuable new skills along the way.